This is NDTV. And you're watching Classics. Welcome to Talking Heads. One of the most exciting stories of international cinema is that of the young Sastak boy from Nalbazar in Mumbai who went on to conquer Hollywood and who created one of the biggest, most enduring brands in international cinema, Merchant Ivory Productions. Filmmaker Ismail Merchant's autobiography is out this week in India. It's called My Passage from India and he's here launching it nationally. Thank you very much, Ismail. You're welcome. I'm Joining delighted. The show. It's, a, it's a great opportunity to look back on, on one of the most dramatic careers in cinema, but it begins in the city of your origin, Mumbai, with, with you, age 13, taking a ride in the black and white screen star Nimi's Cadillac convertible to a premiere. That was the moment that seduced you, didn't it? Oh, it was extraordinary. I mean, when I look back, and think about it, arriving in this green convertible Cadillac, she looking across between Ingrid Bergman and Hedy Lamar, and the crowd chanting her name, and marigolds falling from the sky, you know, hundreds and thousands of marigolds, and coming to the premiere of the film, I can never forget it. It was this magic, you know. And I said, well, if one is in cinema, and you are showered with marigold, what more you want, you know, in life. So that was it, that was the passion, you know, it kindled that spirit. But unlike most aspirants uh, who come to Mumbai in pursuit of the film dream, you really found it in America. Actually, it started in, 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 in uh, Mumbai because, you know, I adored, you know, actresses like Dilip Kumar and Raj Kapoor and Nargis and so on. and. Uh, Nimmi's introduction, which was a family friend, and that really, I would go to studios, I would not go to classes, I would bunk the classes and go to see her in the studios where she would be playing different parts. But then that vision, uh, that sort of uh, passion, you know, continued after my studies in New York at NYU. You know, I made my first short film. But the real, the real key moment was your meeting with another young filmmaker in New York, James Ivory, who'd also made a film about India. And that is when both of you got together, came to the year, came, came back to India in the year 1961 to, to make your first black and white feature, The Householder, starring Shashi Kapoor and Leela Naidu. That was really the beginning from Ruth Chabala's novel, wasn't it? Absolutely. And But what is interesting is that Saeed Jafri had narrated Jim's The Sword and the Flute, and he had also narrated my film, The Creation of Woman. So he had told me about James Ivory. We met in New York at his screening of his film, The Sword and the Flute, at the Indian consulate, and I asked him whether he could come and have a cup of coffee with me. So on Madison Avenue and 66th Street, the Right Bank Cafe, we met. And I, you know, I think there is going to be a plaque put in in the next couple of months, Merchant Ivory met here. You know, so <laughs> that actually... It's a and, historic landmark in New York. Absolutely. And then... We came to, to India, approached Ruth Jabwala. We called her, she was in Delhi, and she pretended to be her mother-in-law. Well, I mean, you know, and she said, well, Mrs. Jabwala is not here. I said, no, we want Ruth Jabwala, you know. So we took a train, went to Delhi. She invited us for a cup of tea at her home in Flagstaff Road. We went and had tea, now I'm talking about in 1961. And there I was trying to impress her with all the photographs from Hollywood and, you know, all the luminary Susan Hayward and John Gavin and, you know, all of the... But she was least interested in it. You know, she just wanted to be her... I mean, she wanted to hear what James Ivory had to say. So the novel, we said, that, why don't you write a screenplay, I said. And she said, well, I have never written a screenplay. So I said, well, I have never produced a feature film and James Ivory has never directed a, a, a feature film. So three novices meeting together. It's like Sangam meeting of the three holy rivers, you know. So it's so interesting and that... one of the most enduring partnerships in, yeah. in film of all time. Absolutely. This has been like magic, you know. She's a European Jew. I'm from India. And Jim is from America. So, you know, three of us met together along with this wonderful friends who became, you know, really a, uh, a family, you know, for Merchant Ivory, Shashi Kapoor, starting with him. And uh, seeing the location in old Darya Ganj, you know, with the Zenith Mosque where the householder is said. I mean, 
And I was the accountant, I was the chauffeur, I was the cook, I was uh, the producer, I was the production manager. Combined, this was like baptism by fire, you know, just jumping into it. And also the smooth talker and fundraiser. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> the film was made for $90,000 in two languages, Hindi and English. We were very ambitious, you know.